You can make a valuable contribution to conservation with photos or sound recordings that you've taken with a mobile device or digital camera. Every photo is a record of a living thing that can be used to quantify biodiversity, track invasive species, locate species at risk, and much more. And it's never too late. Even old photos, if you can remember where they were taken, provide valuable information. Using the web uploader, you can upload, combine, and batch edit photos and sounds, then submit them to iNaturalist. Here's how to do it. Head to iNaturalist.ca and create an account or log in to an existing account. To get to the uploader, click on the green uploader button in the header, and from here, drag and drop the files you want to add or choose from the menu. Once you've dragged in your photos and sounds, iNaturalist will import each one as a card in the workspace here. Keep in mind, the photos have not been added as observations in iNaturalist just yet. That won't happen until you hit the green submit button in the upper right hand corner. We recommend not adding more than about 50 files at a time into the uploader page. Now that your observation cards are all in your workspace, you can start editing their information. You can edit a single observation by clicking on it here and entering the information directly on the card or in this area on the left hand side. You'll see that geo privacy, captive cultivated, tags, projects and observation fields are all on the left hand side as well. For geo privacy, open will allow others on iNaturalist to see the location, obscured will randomly buffer the true location, or private will ensure that it doesn't show up on any maps. To add an identification, click on the species name field, and iNaturalist will suggest visually similar species. Or you can type in a common or scientific name and choose from the drop-down menu. There's no sound recording software on iNaturalist, so you'll have to type in the species name. To add or edit location information, click on the location space here. You'll see that a location editor pops up, and you can type a place into the search bar at the top. Note that this will not search iNaturalist curated places, rather it's a Google Maps name search. And from here, you can pick a point and drag these control dots on the circle to show the accuracy level of your location. Once you're done, click on update observation to get back to your workspace. If you often make observations at the same location, such as a local park or your backyard, you can save it to your account as a pinned location. Once you have the correct coordinates, accuracy, geoprivacy settings, and notes in these fields, click on the pin button. The location will be saved. You can access it by clicking on your pinned locations right here. Now, these two photos are the same organism so you would want to combine them into one observation. You can either select them both and click Combine up at the top, or drag one card onto the other, and there you go, they've been merged into one. The date was stored in the photo's properties, which iNaturalist has read, and if the photo was taken with a mobile device or digital camera with a built-in GPS, the location will also be automatically added. If not, check the location services on your device. These locations will not have an accuracy though, so it is very important to manually add that in. Otherwise, we can't know if you are at the observation or perhaps several hundred meters away. Finally, let's say you want to batch edit your cards. You can select certain cards with your mouse or click select all at the top. Once you've selected all the observations you'd like to edit, you can use the forms on the left-hand side to do so. Anything you enter on the left-hand side will affect all the cards you have selected. Now that you've edited everything you want to, you just have to hit Submit and they will be added to your account and the iNaturalist database. Now that you know how to add observations online, have a look through old photos to see what you can dig up. If you're ready to head outside and get new photos, consider using the free iNaturalist mobile app. Get to know what's living around you. Join iNaturalist Canada today.